everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home on the hillside here in Wales where I make craft videos, haul videos and today is a haul video. I've been to the thrift stores or charity shops, I bought some bits and pieces and thought you might like to see them. Also at the end I'm going to put in some happy mail that I've had. As many of you will know I've had some health issues lately and I'm just finally starting to gather all the happy mail that's arrived over the last few months so I'm going to show you a little bit of that at the end so if you want to see the gorgeous things I've had sent stay tuned. Right let's get started with my haul. I put a few interesting things out and about so that when you first click onto the, the video it doesn't look really boring but now I'm going to clear it all off and start with that's not in the hall that was holding beneath this. Now, this doesn't look like anything special, does it? But I got this. Look at the state on it. I thought this cost me a pound. I have no idea what the original version of this is, whether it's supposed to have dolls in it or teddies or anything or perhaps nothing. But I'm going to decorate that up for Christmas. And I thought that it's got a lovely texture to it. So when I paint that up, that is going to look marvellous to put a Christmas display in. Perhaps some flowers, some little wrapped gifts, things like that. Perhaps a Christmas Santa. You never know. I haven't decided yet, but I definitely thought at a pound that was worth picking up. Now, Easter is on its way at the time I'm making this video and so I've been keeping an eye out for Easter bunnies, Easter lambs, that sort of thing and I found this, isn't that cute? If I move that one out of the way, look at the colour on it and the texture of the fur is really pretty and it cost me 50p. So I'm going to use this probably in a wreath, an Easter wreath. So I've got some ideas for Easter wreaths so I made one already, I'm going to make a few more and this lemon bunny is going to come in very handy. Oh, the make is pause. And I also got this one. This is like a Peter Rabbit rabbit. Peter Rabbit rabbit. Is that how you'd say it? With his little tail on the back and his little jacket. It looks very smart. That was 50p. So I thought, yep, I'm going to take that for 50p. And I'm sure I'll be able to use that in something Easter or spring related. It doesn't have to be Easter. So I may decide to keep this one. Perhaps not for Easter, perhaps for spring instead. I'll see. I've never quite made my mind up until I settle down with all my things in front of me. That's when I make that final decision. I want to make some bird houses this week time, or this time, this season. And so I got this. I've seen these in charity shops before, and they've been like a pound, one pound fifty, and this one was 70p. So I thought at 70p. I'm going to take that and it's definitely going on a plinth. I don't think I've got a plinth that I can reach. We will improvise. You ready for some improvisation? There we go. We'll use a bundle of green string and I'm going to put that on a plinth. Obviously something much prettier than a bundle of string and decorate it up and perhaps put some little birds or a little bird's nest in there. I think that's going to look really pretty. The big thing is deciding what colour. I quite fancy doing pastel colours. That's probably where I'm going to head. So we will see this later on in a creating video or a craft video. Probably not many weeks away. I got this. Where's my price tag? 50p. Generally, if you see a heart like this, it's a pound. So this was 50p for the wreath with this little wooden piece joined on to. And it's rusty at the top. I think somebody's had this on their front door, which is probably why I had it at such a cheap price. But I don't mind that. I think it adds character. I think it looks really vintage. So I love that. I'm 50p. Can't go wrong. Right, I've got a new table by the side of me here. That's why I'm not having to disappear off camera all the time. I just pop in my things down and then I've got this. Now this, it doesn't have a label on it. I assumed it was Fablon when I picked it up. It says... Meboom grey wood grain contact, easy to remove. And it's 10 feet 8 inches on that. Should we open it up? I love the look on this. But I'm not going to... I will be using some just as like a sticky back plastic. Oh, I really feel like Blue Peter now with my sticky back plastic. But I'm going to try using this on my Sizzix machine and see if I can cut out some stickers with it. It may not work, but it may work. Oh, there we are. It's VMP tack. It's got instructions and it's got a little grid on the back. I could even cut out these shapes if I wanted to, which I don't. But that's going to be lovely, I think, if I 
do some writing in this and put it on a plain background, especially a darker background, perhaps black, or maybe white with a black outline. I'm not quite sure yet, but I know that I'm going to find some uses for that. And it's also good for covering like cheap cardboard boxes and you can make them look like wood. If you're not much into doing the paint effect, you can just slop a bit of that on and away you go. Did I tell you the price? I don't think I did. I picked this up thinking they're probably going to want £2 for that. I like to pay a pound. So I said, how much is this, please? And they said, oh, everything in that tub is four for a pound. <laughs> hey, I thought, right, let's have a look what else they got in the tub. And there wasn't an awful lot. Oh, that's a difficult one to put down. Oh, everything's dropping. But I did get three rolls of this. And this is like a large tile embossed wallpaper. Don't think it's going to have anything written on it. Nope. And it's not complete. But I got three rolls of this. And I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that at all at the moment. But I thought, well, it's almost like having them free because I was quite happy to pay a pound for my uh, sticky back plastic. So I've got myself lots of this. Shame this wasn't sticky back. Could use that as tiles then. But it's just a wallpaper. But I'm sure I can come up with something. And that's going to look lovely and fresh and crisp for the summer decorations and summer things I make in craft. Pop that one down on the floor because it's a bit unwieldy. I'll pull over my frames. Now, you know me in frames. I've got a shop that pays, that charges 50p for frames. And there's my Mr. On again. Woo! I got this brass frame for 50p. And it's really nice. It's metallic. It's modern. It's not anything old. But you can't tell that from the front. So I'm really pleased with that. And then I've got, let's have a look, this one, which I thought was lovely because... It's quite near to St David's Day. It's got daffodils on. Daffodils are the flower of Wales. So I thought that was lovely and it's so delicately coloured. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the frame. I'm just going to put something pretty. Somebody's put in the quote, I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of dancing daffodils. I learned that in school. I thought it was golden daffodils. Hmm. So there we have another frame and I got this. Now, I wouldn't, I didn't pick this up because of the frame. You can see it's nothing exciting, but look at that. It's a vintage mirror. Raphael Tuck, 1977. And I just love that. Bonnie Bonnets, 50p. I mean, that is an unbelievable price. So I just couldn't leave that there. It's got nothing interesting on the back or anything. Say so nothing special as far as frames go, but I absolutely love that. I may try to get this red off. Somebody's decided to helpfully paint the frame red, probably to suit their room. But I don't think that's going to suit the picture at all. So that will be either painted over or removed. I've also got this. Now, I love these big wooden frames. I'll have to turn it this way to fit it on the camera. Now, it's got some damage there, but that is really insignificant. A bit of wood glue on there and I'm sorted. And, oh, it's got something written on the back. Philly Words, thanks, Dioch. So, Philly Words sold this on Facebook, I assume. So, perhaps there were some words written inside. Mm, a lot of the joints are really suffering on this. That really isn't a problem. And it's a lovely looking wood. I think that's going to look nice with, like, black, white and pale green. I think that's the colour scheme I'd be going for with that. So, let's pop these down. My idea to put a little table by the side didn't work because my little table is now full. So let's pop these down here and I'll have to make sure woo, I get a better order next time. Something completely different. I've got a bag of fabric and this cost me a pound. can't see the price tag on it now, but it cost me a pound anyway. Look at all the fabric in here. We've got everything from... Now, it's very tatty. You've got this dark red, but you can see somebody has been cutting bits out of it. So it's not very straight and neat, but that really doesn't matter for a pound. Uh, we got spots. I do love spots. Timeless treasure fabrics of Soho. Uh, we got some pretty colour poppies. I love this. A real splash of colour there. We got some stripes there. Very much like the seaside. And more spots. I haven't looked in this myself. I've only seen through the plastic. So this is quite exciting for me. Oh, look at all these bits. 
we got some purple spots if i can separate that out and some butterflies and i love my butterflies oh that's pretty almost like mary quant flowers there and some bouquets of flowers oh they're butterflies and hearts oh very nice more spots more butterflies some blue some bees i like that and some green flowers some pretty flowers some pink gingham how spring-like is that beautiful oh this has been cut off an item of clothing i think or they've hemmed it themselves yeah i think that's i think this person may have been trying to make something with that and given up that's very pretty and more butterflies more spots more mary quant type flowers and ladybirds and there's more that's not it we've got this green and oh look at those oh i love that that is just so much like a a spring almost flowery mead i love that we got this which is let's have a look oh dandelion clocks and flowers and foxgloves bits and pieces and this which is just a pattern a doily pattern yeah i think what do you think, do you think that's a doily pattern that's what i'm going for well these look like they've been cut out of a book yes scat and coals this is landora check green there we go 100 percent cotton i like that it's not much in here not to like is it and we've got the same thing in like a beige colour. Oh, I didn't know this was in here. Look at that. I just love gingham. And this is, yep, this navy. I did wonder if it was black. But when you look at it in the light, you can see. Oh, here comes some sunshine. Can you see the sunshine coming in? Oh, what a treat to the whales. Right, so that is, oh, let's have a look. See how big it is. It's, oh, what two, it's about 18 inches by about four feet but with very jaggedy edges where somebody's been cutting bits off and we've got this which is musical fabric now it's not burlap it's like a upholstery fabric and is that another one the same yep so when you think i've got all that fabric for a pound i'm happy i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that so let's pop it away. Which one was your favourite? Do you have one you think, oh, I really love that? Or are they all nice? But does one really stand out to you? I'm not sure. I love spots. Spots really make me happy. I love butterflies. I love gingham. I love this floral. So, no, I couldn't possibly choose. <laughs> I love it all. So we pop those down there. Now, another thing. Rattle, rattle, rattle. That I haven't looked at. These were 50p. And what on earth is in here? We've got, look at this, little plates. Now, I bought this because I could feel there were saucepans in it, doll saucepans. And I want to make a wreath with all, like, cookery things on. I thought that would be a bit of fun for the kitchen. So there are all these saucepans. So look there. And does that fit on there? Yep. Oh, a little casserole or a wok. A wok. And a little meat tin. Now that spoon's a little bit out of proportion, isn't it? Oh, and a knife. And a fork. And another lid. So I suppose that was on the wok. So I got these for, it was a pound. I'm pretty sure I said a pound. I think these were a pound or were they 50p? I think they were 50p, actually. I wish they'd leave prices on things. I think they were 50p, but we'll say they could have been a pound. But either way, I think I've got my money's worth there. And I didn't realise these were in there. So they are going to be very useful for either using in, like, journaling or for making something pretty. I could even make a little wooden dresser and put those on it. Hmm. I'm probably getting a bit ahead of myself on my woodworking skills there. But I quite fancy doing that. And then all these, I think they're going to look really cute around the outside of a wreath. I'm not quite sure what the basis of the wreath will be yet. Probably fabric, I would think. But you never know, I may do it on. Now, greenery isn't going to work. Ooh, to be careful there. So all these, let's say, 50p a pound. I can't remember, but either way, I got a very good price on those. 
I'm going to have to start just putting these to the side because I'm really running out of room. Okay. And next we've got another wreath idea. Now I want to make a wreath. I've got, uh, I think it says bubble fun or bathroom or something. And I want to make a bathroom themed uh, wreath. And I was looking at the price. I was going to do this with those scrubbies. And they're ridiculously priced. They were a pound each. And I thought, well, I need about 30 of them. So I'm not using those. And then I found these for a pound. And I thought, well, they look like bubbles. Let's get them out. They're from somebody's ball pool. Oh, they really didn't want these to be open, did they? Oh, we're in. Oh, there's a bag in a bag. Okay. Let's bring in the big guns. There we go. Let's not mess about. So they're just plastic balls. But I'm thinking I may leave some pink. Do some white and maybe some a deeper or a lighter pink to have a good assortment. And they're going to look just like bubbles. And I really think that is going to look lovely. So that's another wreath I'll be making. I love wreaths. I always used to think wreaths were for Christmas. And then you suddenly think, hang on a minute. There's so much potential for a wreath. So... That is going to be on my wreath. They need a good wash, good paint, and then away to go. Pop those down there. Hopefully all the balls don't escape now. I'll be chasing balls around my studio. I got this. This was 10p, I think it was. And I got it purely for the wood and the wheels. The wheels are going to be very useful. But I did wonder, I don't know what you think, I possibly could add a little bit of wood and turn this into one of those trucks that they have for Christmas and put a Christmas tree in the back, paint it up red, put some lights on the front. Oh, it did have lights, just noticed, and one's missing. I imagine a little character sat in there too. So that's what I'm thinking is, let's say either take it to bits and just use the wheels on something else to make a truck, or I could probably convert that into a truck just by adding some bits and pieces. So that's what's going to happen with that. Possibly. Oh, look at the shadow now. It's a gloriously sunny day. I got these iron-on hearts. They were 50p, which I wasn't sure whether that was expensive. So I decided, early for a penny and for a pound, let's give it a go because they are iron-on. So somebody's put an iron-on back in and then cut them out. And there are quite a few in here. I haven't actually counted them. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hearts. Gingham fabric, iron on. So they're going to be a lot of fun to use. Not quite sure what I'm going to use those on yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. And we found quite a few bargains in that shop. This was a pound. And it's a bit weird because if I show you, I don't know if the camera can pick this up. But it's like fabric. At first I thought it was sticky back plastic. It's not. It's fabric. But it's sticky back fabric. You could pull the back off. It's got a back in on there. But I think that is lovely. Now somebody, again, has been chopping away at it. Picking the bits they wanted. But there's plenty left on that roll. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I know I'm going to find some good uses for that. And it's going to last quite a while too. It's not the sort of thing you'd use vast amounts of, I don't think, because it's such a strong, powerful pattern. You wouldn't want to overwhelm something. But the colours are good. The feel of it is good. And these sticky backs, which saves you on glue. Brilliant. Right. We have this. Now, this hasn't got... It's a candle holder. You stand it up there. You can see there. It was reduced from a pound to 50p. And I... A couple of weeks ago, managed to find the little candle holders, the glass ones that fit in there. So, oh dear, got the sneezes. It's all the dust, I think. So I'm thinking I may not use that like that. I may take this off the base, put it in a photo frame, I do, or a picture frame. I have one or two picture frames. And then I can put the glass back into these and use that as a candle holder. Or I could take these off. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm probably going to leave those on because it would look so lovely on the wall in a frame. I'm not sure what colour I'll paint it. I may go for some rather than muted, like 
white or cream. I may put some pretty colours on this one. I think it'd look quite decorative. And if I do take it off this base, I've got a base to put something else on. And this. I love this. I think you're going to love this. Move a bit of plastic out of the way. It's one of those models. It's like a mannequin. And it's, oh, where's my ruler? It's quite tall, this one. It is about 18 inches tall. And it needs a little bit of repair. It's a little bit grubby. And on the back is a little flower is missing there. This bottom is resin, but it does look metallic, doesn't it? And how much did I pay for this? Oh, it's got a lovely little finial as well. Should mention that. Now, I saw this and thought, I can't afford that. I don't like spending a lot of money on things. I could see it needed a bit of cleaning up. So I, I'll pick it up and have a look anyway. And I turned the tag over and it was £4 originally, which isn't bad for what it is, reduced to a pound. Well, I was not going to leave that there for a pound. I can't show you what it looks like stood up. But the dangly bits are so pretty on it. And it's, it's a fair weight. It's not one of these flimsy things. So goodness knows how much that cost originally. And I got it for a pound. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing something with this. And I'll tell you my idea at the moment. I'm thinking of, I don't know if any of you have seen people take full-size mannequins and then they put a Christmas tree, a false one, upside down, or maybe a real one sometimes, on the bottom to look like the skirt. Well, I'm thinking I could do that. Obviously, this will be a much smaller version. And give her a Christmas tree skirt and perhaps give her some red clothing. Or perhaps put cream and white decorations on the Christmas tree skirt and then keep this, just clean it up a little bit. So that's my thinking at the moment. But then again, that is likely to change. Now, I that is my 20 minutes-ish, I know perhaps I've been a little bit long, of showing you my haul. But I've also had some gifts sent me. So I've got to show you them if I can reach them. Oh, they're right over the other side of my desk. Cute. Oh, everything's falling out now so I'm going to show you what I got now some of these things I don't know who they're off they arrived with no name on them so I'd really love to know who you are if you sent them to me because I'd like to say thank you but I don't know who you are so please let me know and I've got this it's a distress oxide by Tim Holtz Ranger stamp now look the Amazon man I don't know what he was doing but he broke the outside off but it's made no difference at all it hasn't dried up the ink so I did try gluing it back on just before I started filming. It didn't work, but I'm quite happy with it using it like this. And if anything, it takes up less space in my desk. So I'm going to try stamping with this. Now, many of you know I'm hit and miss with stamps. Sometimes they go really well, sometimes they don't. So I'm going to give this a good coating, not to take any risks. And then let's see what this looks like. It's called Hickory Smoke. Turn it over, that's a bit grubby that side. Press it on. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful colour. It's a real sort of vintagey grey. Oh, I love that. So thank you very much. Whoever you are, thank you very much. And if you could let me know who you are, they will be even better. So thank you so much for my Hickory Smoke ink pad. And I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So I could put that carefully over there so that I don't get it. Look at me. I'm lethal. Anything messy and I'm always covered in it. I don't want to cover the next things. So I've had a few little things sent to me in cards. And this is from Karen. And I sent a few things because I've been ill. Some lovely people sent me cards. Look this one. It was handmade by Karen, I reckon, because it's just, you can see the detail and the care that's gone into that. And it's even got a little metal bee on there. So isn't that lovely? And I got a really nice message inside for me too. But also, look at these. Oops, I bet that one. Oh, I'm going to have such fun with these. Oh, let's take them off the card. You can't see, can you? Look at all these beautiful flowers. I love that one. The sunflowers in the jar. So they are going to be so nice. Are they stickers? Let's have a check. Because a lot of things now are stickers. 
Oh, yes, this sticker's brilliant. Oh, so thank you ever so much for those, Karen. They're so pretty. And they're going to be perfect for the spring and the summer now where I'll be making a lot more florals. So thank you. And I'll pop those with the beautiful card up there. Now, this came just before Christmas. And I don't know if there's a date on this, but look what I got. I love doodling. If any of you have seen some of my art videos, I do a lot of doodling. I find it so relaxing. So I've got some Pigma Micron Fine Liners and these Ohuhu Fine Line Drawing Pens. And these are from, it says, a gift from Louise Ger Gerin, I think it is. Art on! Exclamation mark. From Louise. I can't see a date on this, but this was a few months ago. So Louise, thank you ever so much. And I got a little tab when I have Happy Mail. I put my Happy Mail in there and I'm not allowed to use it until I've done the video so that I can show everybody before I use it. And that makes me more likely to do the videos. And I've been so desperate to try these out. And the Ohuhu ones have got such great reviews. They do Ohuhu um, felt pens, markers. And they're getting fabulous reviews. Apparently, they're better than the expensive ones. So I'm going to be interested to try these. I can do the comparison. And I got plenty to keep me going because I do use such a lot of fine liners. I get through them like anything. So thank you ever so much, Louise. They're lovely. And I'll just let you know, I'm not sponsored by Ohuhu or anything. I just heard good things about them. So I haven't got any Ohuhu coloured markers to let you know it's really good um reviews either <laughs> i've never had them but i know the reviews are saying good things so i really have high hopes for these so that's those there i can put that over there i've got this card get well soon caroline and this is from patty mitchell who has a youtube channel called mudlarker arizona and look at this it's like a metallic marker pen that she's used it looks like a fine liner i can just have a look very carefully see some thin lines and look at the detail on that that's a really intricate doodle i love it so yes that's going to go that's just such a good summer color for my journal pages i'm going to do a summer color page for that perhaps i'll do an underwater scene that would be lovely i'll put some grass reeds and things for him to swim through so we feel quite happy give him some bubbles as well so that's lovely thank you ever so much i've even drawn one of those glittery flowers on my card so thank you ever so much it's, uh, right, it's not written on the back or anything so it's just the message in the side so thank you ever so much patty that is really pretty and i can see you've worked hard to color that in thank you Right, I've got this. Now, this is another package I've had from Phyllis in Tennessee. And it took forever to arrive. And then, you can't read the beginning of that. But I know what it says because this is the second package I've had like this. It says, Miss Sent to Korea. So, this has been to Korea. Why? I don't know. For some reason, they keep mixing up South Wales and Korea. So, let's have a look what's inside here. Now, we did a little bit of a stamp swap because I got some stamps that Phyllis hasn't got. Phyllis has got ones I haven't got. So we sent each other stampings of our stamps. And look at these. Got a lovely birdhouse there and some birds and flowers and the dish and the spoon. And we've got some beautiful winter twigs, or winter trees. They're so atmospheric. I love those. And I've got this, look. Now, I think this says the Reconwate, possibly. I've never come across that word before. I speak a little French, so I'm not quite sure if that's right. Sorry if I haven't said it properly. And I don't think it's a postcard. I think it's a, an image that's been in a frame or something, or a collectible image, but it's really pretty. It's a little girl with her dolly and the little dog in the background. That's lovely. And we got this postcard. There's no date on the back of it. It's from Jacksonville, Florida. Greetings from Samantha, I think. A happy new year, love Janine and children, or Jen, yeah, Jenny and children. Oh, I can't read what that says, but it's, isn't that gorgeous? It's one of those mica glued on bits from the postcard. Vintage, oh, it could well be antique actually. It's quite old, that one. From. 
it doesn't see no, there's no post mark or anything on it so that is gorgeous and we've got this and this is paper and it's embossed no i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you this it is absolutely amazing can you see it it's got bird and flowers and a little square box there and this kind regards from the battles dr and mrs c w johnson jacksonville uh, fla i'm not quite sure what that is but look at that mr and mrs c johnson and my name is carly johnson isn't that clever and somebody's been using it to work out their money on here too this one is mr and mrs william tegley and p.s and this is printed on the card highway 58 is the best road best road up lookout mountain to rock city you don't need a guide moonshine still in rock city gardens lookout mountain <laughs> look at that some naughty little gnomes making some moonshine there's this still in the background in a barrel and this is another embossed one it's got some cherries and you can see the branches there and nothing written on the back of this one it's another really pretty one i've never seen paper postcards ever i would imagine they're very delicate and easy to damage in the post and then we've got some more stamps which are glasses a key and suns there and i think this is the last one now we got some textures some swirls some bubbles so they're brilliant. I'll be able to cut those out and have a lot of fun with those. So thank you, Phyllis. That's brilliant. What is talking? I'm going to have to have a drink a second. You hear me gulping, I expect. Right, next, by email. And this was a Get Well Soon card. And this is from Mary Beth. I'm sending a couple of ATC cards. <coughs> oh, excuse me artist trading cards i mentioned them in feedback on one of your youtube videos on your art channel i hope they bring you a laugh right so let's have a look at these atc cards a good friend is cheaper than therapy it's charlie chaplin and i love the way she's aged these probably use some brown ink on there and don't they look lovely and if you turn on the back look at that they made on beautiful playing cards with dragons on and of course dragons are quite a welsh um, character so they're lovely and humorous too this is another dragon one and this says do you ever get the feeling your fairy godmother stopped out for a smoke <laughs> there's poor old charlie chaplin looking sad oh more drink i'll pop those there now, this is the last parcel, and it's a mystery parcel. It came while I was ill. My husband was holding the fort when he comes to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorting out the mail. And he's got everything in such a mess. All I know is that this was for me. <coughs> oh, dear. It's very dusty in here. I don't know what it is that's setting me off today. <coughs> so all I know is this came in a package to my other channel and which is the mudlarking channel let's go with the johnsons if you want to check it out but these ones were sent for me so whoever you are please let me know if this is the package of you because i would love to say thank you properly now there's some lace look at that this is like a cream nylon lace and there's plenty there it's a bit slippery it keeps undoing on me and we've got some i've got to be really quick my battery's about to die I got some gift cards. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I got a willow pattern card because I'm always finding willow pattern things when I'm mudlarking. So that is gorgeous. And oh no, my battery's running out. So I'm going to show you these really quickly. I have to get this film out because I've only just arrived back last night and I've got to put this video out tonight. We've got some beautiful papers. They're like a Melbury paper, I think I've heard these called and lots of other things so i'm going to say goodbye while i'm showing you what was in this parcel if you've enjoyed this video then please give me a thumbs up and it would be great if you could subscribe and then you'll get to see more haul videos and what i do with the things i get in my haul so i'm going to say goodbye and i'll carry on showing you these if my camera lasts out i'll see you all next time but until then don't forget 
Have fun. Bye.